Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, this time with an early access look at the brand new update here on Call of the Wild. This is going to be a pretty crazy one, and there's a few reasons for that. Well, one, because I am recording this intro like six hours into making this video. Uh, let, let, let me just go to the, uh, yeah, yeah, six hours and 18 minutes, as you can see on the timer. And there's a pretty big reason for that. When I started making this video, there was something that I did not know that was actually pretty vital and I wanted to make sure I get you guys the correct information. Otherwise, I'd just be coming through with a video that has a bunch of false information, but some stuff was clarified later on by uh, one of the developers that really helped out quite a bit. When I started this video, I thought the bears were broken because I did one run and the bears were not coming back to their zones. And I couldn't get them to come back no matter what I did. I hunted for over 30 minutes without anything happening. So let's go ahead and switch the time to bear time. You may be wondering why I just switched the time to uh, 7 a.m. instead of 20 or 21, 22, 23, 24. Well, that's because they changed the drink time for bears. Bears now drink from 4 to 8 instead of 20 to 0. Which that is a massive, massive improvement over what we had before. We can actually hunt the bears in the daytime, which is insane. This is something people have been asking for for a very, very long time. And what's even crazier is I don't think they had to reset the populations because my bears are still herd managed even after them switching around the times, which is crazy. This is honestly a dream come true. Not only did they make a change that a lot of people had been requesting, but they did it in a way that actually is going to make everybody happy. They got a better drink time and there was no population reset, which is just amazing. This is a perfect case scenario. So finally, we are able to hunt our bears in the daytime and actually get to see the beauty of the Great One Bears without having to change the time to a feed time and then try to hope that we can find where they've gone. Now we can just hunt the bears normally and be able to see these beautiful great one bears in the light finally. But now that we've talked about the bears, let's go over some of the basic stuff with this update that you guys will be very interested in. This video is going to be doing 24 hours of hunting with the Arzina 300 mag tactical because this is by far the most popular weapon in this pack, by far. People have been wanting to see this thing in action, so I figured why not go for it for a full 24 hours, try to get as much work done with this thing as I possibly can to really give you guys a proper review on it and to let you know, is it the end all be all of grinding or are you not really going to be falling too far behind if you just stick to the 300 bolt and the 338 bolt? That is what we're going to find out by the end of this video. But let's take a quick look at something else that you guys have been very interested in and that is a uh, binocular customization because that's a thing now. You just hit C on PC or whatever the corresponding key in the bottom right is. Just uh, press that and boom, there you go. It's just like you would customize the weapons, which is cool. So this is a nice little feature they've got now. You can personalize your binoculars to look whatever way you want them to. And uh, one thing that's really cool is you can use the medals as well. This is the new metal that came with the high caliber hunting pack. So this hunting pack or this weapon pack came with three different camos, or five different camos, pardon me. This one is one of them as well. Then we got that one. We've got that one. And then the last one I can't put on the binoculars, but it's this wood pattern right here. Some other stuff that was changed is, of course, the classes of some of the animals, which we're going to take a look at that in a different video because I feel like that deserves an entire video of its own because there's so many different ones that got changed. So we're going to save that for another video because I do feel like there's just too much to cover in this video. Man, this is something I never thought I'd see. We can hunt black bear and rocky elk at the exact same time now. Oh my gosh, this is just, this really is such a fantastic change. The fact that we can hunt the rocky elk and hunt the bears at the same time. This is just a dream come true, especially for those of us that like to grind. Just like that, we've taken down an elk as well as a bear. Love to see it. Love to see the 300 Magnum AR really putting in the work as well. Let's uh, see if we can get a follow-up on this guy. And down he goes. Love to see it. 
Well, they're fleeing. That's no problem. Let's just drop a few shots into them real quickly. They're absolutely no match for the 300 Magnum. Look at that. Doing work as always. 300 Magnum. Still a beast even in AR form, which is what we kind of all expected. But let's go ahead and actually get into the main video now that we've redone this intro after uh, learning the news about the bears because this video is going to be a banger we're going to do 24 hours using the 300 magnum ar and at the end of it i'll give you guys my full review on it to really let you know if it's worth buying or if you're better off just keeping the 300 or the 338 bolt action and one final thing i need to mention is the fact that I do use herd management when I'm doing these grinds. If you're not familiar with what it is, it's a grinding method that increases the spawns of diamonds and potentially great ones, which is not 100% confirmed, but a lot of us do believe that great ones do get influenced by it. The reason I mention this is because this is something that I feel people should know because I'm going to be getting more diamonds than if you are not using herd management. Now, herd management is 100% approved by the developers, so it's completely fine to do. Got plenty of guides on the channel if you're interested, but I had to mention that. Otherwise, people are going to be confused if they're not familiar with how the game works. Okay, so something else I do need to briefly mention, and I, I know this is like the third time I've said that, but this I really do need to mention, otherwise people won't understand exactly how much time I had to do this. They gave us early access on March 1st, as you're probably aware of if you've seen my community tab. So... We have had a very long time to create this video. So that's why there's like going to be multiple days that I'm working towards these hours. Just figured I'd mention that as uh, some people are probably going to be confused at how we get a 24 hour YouTube video out on the first day of early access because the first day that we get to show it is the eighth, but the first day that we get to start recording is the first. We had a full week to record this video and all the other content as well. Ooh, holy crap. Well, before we actually get into this video, we're going to take down that. That's a diamond elk. Oh my gosh, that is a diamond elk. Man, this is going to be so fun hunting bears and elk at the same time. Man, th this is going to be crazy. Let's take this guy down, though. Beautiful. Look at that beast going down. You know... That elk right there may have been on this map for a very long time. I did an elk grind a while back, but it has been over a year at this point since I did that grind. Now, I've only come back once since then to kill off a few of the stacked level fives that we had from when we were managing them down, but I didn't realize we still had a five sitting over here. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty nice surprise. Let's see if this guy is a good one. Oh my gosh, that is, I think, my highest scoring one ever. There's no way we just got my highest scoring Rocky Elk ever. That is absolutely insane. You know, we may have to bring back the Rocky Mountain Elk grind now that I can grind Elk and Bears at the same time. We might have to start doing dual grinds. Oh my gosh, this, is, this update just gets better and better. I'm so happy they did this. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the actual meat and potatoes of this video, which is uh, me hunting 24 hours with the new 300. Uh, like I said, we've already done six of those hours and then all this information just popped up. So I had to redo the intro and everything. But uh, it's time to finally get back into the actual video. Well, this is a really good sign. The moose respawned immediately. So it's just my bears that are being weird. I guess that's a good sign, but it's also a bad sign because my bears are still acting weird. But at least we can hunt moose and have no issues with respawns, at least on, on first glance. We're on the second run and both of these males did respawn. So I think we should be good. And also, I got to say, this 300, after just using it for maybe 20 kills, is absolutely ridiculous. I've shot, as of now, 11 moose and, like, close to 10 bears. And this thing is just ridiculously accurate. I feel like I'm hitting the heart shots way more on these moose, and I feel like on the bears it was uh, virtually the same as the other 300, because on bears it's a little bit tougher to tell, I feel. Because it's so easy to double lung them. Any shot's going to take a bear down pretty quick. But man, this 300 right here is just a monster. <laughs> it's an absolute monster. And in the uh, the situation where you miss the hard shot, you can always uh, go for the follow-ups with this insanely fast-firing rifle. I mean, just look at that. Now he's going down. Love to see it. 
So there is this moose right here. This guy is 176 on the score, but we managed to get him hit four different times. So this is going to be the beauty of having this 300 AR. Even though none of these were vital hits right here, we messed up our first shot, so we were able to fire off the other four shots in the magazine before it ran out of our view. And because of that, it went down relatively quick. This is honestly going to be a time saver for moose grinds in particular. Because if we can take down the moose, you know, with four or five shots after a, a bad shot, then, you know, that's going to save us a lot of tracking time. That's a beautiful level four right there. Let's just drop one straight into the heart and down he goes. Ooh, there we go. That's a level five. Oh, oh my gosh. It has no chance of making diamond. It's, it's a guaranteed troll. Uh, but again, at least we're getting our moose respawn since the bears were not cooperating, right? Let's just uh, drop one into him and drop a shot into that guy as well. Well, there he is. That is our first five of the grind and a nice little heart shot to take him down. But yeah, not even close to being diamond. Ooh, there we go. Let's go. That is a monstrous level five right there. That is about as big as they can get. Holy crap. It's about time we finally got a good moose to spawn. We're 99 kills into this, and this is going to be our first diamond. I've had two trolls before, but we finally have a diamond showing up. Let's shoot that guy and then get this guy to turn, and we'll just drop a shot into him. That will do nicely right there. There he is. There's that giant moose. Let's go ahead and claim him. That is a 299.23 monster, monster diamond moose. Look at that beast. And the 300 Magnum doing its job, as always, taking him down. Ooh, there we go. That is our second diamond moose. That is a guaranteed diamond estimate. This one had 112 kills, or this will be our 112th kill. Let's go ahead and take a shot. That is going to drop him in his tracks. Man, I am absolutely loving this 300 still. It's uh, only been like little over 10 kills since the last uh, diamond, but this rifle is still performing just as I would want it to. It's crazy to think we used to not even have the hope of an AR ever getting added to this game. And now we're at the point where not only do we have ARs, but we have ARs that are capable of taking down a moose in relatively quick time. It's absolutely insane. Just to think of where the game used to be and where it's come to today, it gives me hope that maybe someday we'll get something crazy like elephants because they went from hating ARs and never wanting to add them to having a ton of them in the game. And it's really, really awesome to see. But that is our second diamond of the grind. And that is an absolutely beautiful sight. That is another level five moose. Just a couple zones after that last one, we are running into a really good streak of level fives. Question is, will this guy make it? It's definitely not guaranteed for this one, so... He has a chance of not even coming close. Let's see, is it? Oh, it is. Holy crap, that actually is a diamond. I didn't think this was going to make it at all. I thought this was easily going to be a troll, but no, this one made diamond too. So we now have three diamonds. We went from only getting one diamond in 100 kills to now having three in 116 in total. That's crazy. So what we have in front of us right now is a guaranteed diamond level 4 at 279 minimum estimate. That is absolutely crazy for a level 4. That is one of the first guaranteed diamond level 4s I've ever seen. So I think at this point, because we have been going for almost 5 hours and I've still got other projects that I need to put work towards today, I think what we're going to do is uh, leave this day where it is right here. We're going to come back tomorrow and continue this video in hopes of uh, getting a little bit closer towards that 24-hour mark. It's probably going to take a few days for me to do this, as you guys uh, probably know by now. I have a daughter. I'm married. So I got other things that I have to do aside from making content creation each day. So I can't really put more than like five to seven hours into making videos per day. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fast forward to the next day the next day. Welp, it's time for the second day of doing this 24 hours of using the 300 Magnum. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the desktop audio as I am just going to watch YouTube while I do this because I got a lot of time left and I'm going to get bored if I don't have something going on.
Man, right there is a perfect example of where this 300 Magnum AR comes like super clutch. It comes in super clutch in these situations where you may not have got the perfect shot on the first one, but you can fire off so many shots so quickly that you can just take them down super fast anyway. Well, 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 it is now the, uh, I believe third day of doing this particular video. I just had to re-record my intro because they made a pretty massive change and we're gonna take a look at that change very, very shortly because we're hunting bears again. And the massive change is they drink in the morning now instead of at night. So we can finally go for these bears between the hours of four and eight in the morning, which is huge for those of us that enjoy hunting the black bear or want to get the black bear great one. It is such a massive change. You know, it's unfortunate that I had to trash the majority of my intro and, and stuff like that, but hey, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do when new information is revealed. So yeah, I just finished redoing my entire intro and now we're back smoking these bears, which feels really weird to be hunting them in the daytime, but it also feels just absolutely incredible. I mean, at this point, we are six hours and 20 minutes into uh, using this 300 Magnum and it just feels good to be hunting bears again. And obviously you guys won't see this in the video because uh, I had to cut it out due to it being incorrect information, but I thought the bears were broken because I was hunting them at their old time, not knowing that they had changed the time. It wasn't until I was notified by one of the developers that they actually did change things. And now we're here. So I had to cut out the entire original intro that I had made just because of that, because I was talking about how the bears were broken when they weren't broken. I was just hunting at the wrong time. Hey, there we go. That is our first level nine of the uh, black bears for this video. Let's go. Let's go. That is a terrible estimate, though. 20 to 22 is not good. That has such a minuscule chance of making it. And it's very likely that it probably won't. But man, who cares when you have a 300 that's this insane? <laughs> I just can't get over how quick you can fire and take down all these bears. Well, let's see what we have here. That's a seven. Where's our nine? There's our nine. Yep, that's a troll. Yep, that's a troll. <laughs> hey, who cares though? That was a, a cool little thing to see. The speed that this 300 has when hunting bears is absolutely crazy. Oh, there we go. Another level nine. Well, not even 30 seconds later, we have our second level nine of the day. Let's uh, hope that I can get this level six as well because it's kind of tucked away in the brush now. There's that level nine down. Wait for that level six to put his head up. There he is. Get a couple shots in him. And that should be it. There he goes. I gotta say, this 300 might be... And that's a diamond right there. This 300 might be the greatest thing that's ever happened to grinding in Call of the Wild. I know not everybody enjoys grinding. But for those of you that do, this rifle probably will be a game changer. Just off of what I've seen over the course of this almost seven hours of playing with it. This gun is going to be a grinder's dream of a rifle. And as you guys probably know by now, if a rifle is super good for grinding, it's very likely that it's going to be good for casual hunting as well, because if it can do all the stuff that a grinder needs, it can certainly do everything that you need on a normal hunt. This thing is going to be a monster in multiplayer. And honestly, this paired with the other ARs in the game is going to make for a nasty loadout. Like probably one of the best loadouts you could possibly make if you're looking for efficiency and speed. Because my gosh, just look at it. Another nine legendary, let's go. We have been popping nines like crazy. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna include all of these in the video at this point because man, they are just freaking everywhere right now. There we go. Oh my gosh. What did I just witness, man? That was insanity. <laughs> Holy crap, I spawn here like right as they decide to respawn. And of course they all attack me because of that. That was insanity. 
That was crazy. And that's a max scoring bear as well. Jeez. What an interesting encounter, to say the least. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, that was a rare bear. That was a brown. That was a brown fur type. Oh, okay. We we got it. We got to go save this. We got to go save that. That was a brown fur type. That was a rare bear. Oh my gosh. Even in the daytime, I'm speeding through rare bears not realizing that the browns are actually a rare. We need to save this right now. Taxidermize right there. You didn't know your last animal that you end up uh, harvesting will be taxable in the trophy manager. So do that if you fail to see that something's a rare or you accidentally speed through something like I just did. Ooh, there we go. That is a rare bear. That does appear to be a cinnamon, if I'm not mistaken. So... Let's go ahead and take that guy down before that elk ends up getting in the way. And then take out the other bear right next to him. That's awesome. We got ourselves another rare already. We've been doing really good on rares today. I had to go AFK for a second. So uh, this guy's been sitting here for a little bit. Glad that it didn't like glitch out and disappear or my game crash or anything. But there is our cinnamon bear right there. 1969 on the score. That is going to be a level six. Not bad. We got our third rare of the grind two of them in this video because i was at 188 kills when i started uh shooting bears for this video because i had done a bit pre-update so we're at 366 total kills and uh, a total of three rares on this grind which is really good actually that's insane for 366 kills the next day all right, everybody, it is day four. I just took down my first couple bears of the day, and we're going to go ahead and probably just grind with some music playing in the background today because this is one of those days where I'm not in the biggest grinding mood, but I got to finish getting all of these hours worth of using this gun done. I want to get to 24 hours within the next couple days, so I got to put in at least six hours today so we can realistically finish this in two more days. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap, that's a level 5 Rocky Elk. Hold on, let me mute my music real quick so I can get the game audio back. That is a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk. Holy crap, just casually shooting a few Rockies here and there has actually paid off. I, I don't think this guy is going to make it, unfortunately, based on that score estimate, but... I, I guess I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember what the minimum score is for Diamond on the Rocky Elk. I can't remember if it's low 490s or if it's in the 480s, but I mean, I guess we're about to find out. Let's see. What is this guy going to score? I'm going to say it's a gold. Yeah, that's a gold. 454. Now, it could have had a chance. 481 is diamond. This guy went up to 491, but yeah, he didn't make it. That is a troll, a big troll at that. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There is a rare bear. That is a cinnamon right there, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead, once again, mute my music and turn the uh, desktop audio back on in OBS. That is a beautiful looking cinnamon, man. That is a great looking cinnamon. It's only a five, so it's not huge, but that is a rare bear. That is, I believe, our fourth rare bear of this grind. We're 562 kills into this grind right here. Honestly, that is not too bad, man. That is pretty good ratio of rares to kills. That's pretty good. Let's just go ahead and grab this guy first since he is the rare. I don't want to lose him in case of game crashes or anything like that. So let's tax that bad boy right there. Another level five cinnamon. Would have preferred it to be a level nine, but hey, can't pick your uh, can't pick your rares. This is nice to see regardless. And of course, one zone later is when we sealed nine legendary. This could have been that cinnamon. Literally, the last thing we shot was that cinnamon. If only you could have been him. Oh, oh, yes. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. All right, let me pause my music. Let me pause my music. Get the desktop audio back on for OBS. Holy crap. I did not even notice it was a fabled bear. Holy crap. 
<laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 13 hours and 13 minutes into grinding with this 300 Magnum. And there it is. There it is. The fabled spotted great one bear. Let's go. This is a duplicate of one that I've already got. I've already got a fabled spotted. So I was hoping to get a spirit, but I'll take another spotted. They're really cool looking. Oh my gosh, man. When I looked over there and I saw those two bears side by side, I did such a quick little look that I just saw two bears. It wasn't until I looked up at the estimate that I saw that it was 10 fabled. I went to check the levels and it said 10 fabled. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go, man. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Wait a second. Oh, holy crap. It's an aggressive great one. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he was aggressive. Hey, buddy. Attack me, please. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize he was aggressive. Oh my gosh, I thought he just got spooked off and was running. He was aggressive. That's so insane. Holy crap, that is insane. An aggressive great one bear. Well, I think we're gonna have to reset the time and try to get him in his zone again because otherwise we're not gonna be able to stock up to him and get him down in a timely matter. So it's likely I'll have to go to the main menu before resetting the time because of the fact that he's currently spooked and he's likely just gonna be nervous and not come back to his zone when I reset, but we'll see. Is he gonna go back to his zone immediately? I, I really don't know. I hope so. No, he's not. He's not in his zone. So I am gonna have to restart the game and then come back in or, or main menu and come back in. Let's see, is he there? Yes, he is. That is our 10 fabled great one black bear. Let's freaking go. I think we're not going to waste too much time on this guy. Let's go ahead and get the 300 Magnum AR, get a little bit closer, and then take him down. Because, I mean, let's be honest. We, we want to take him down with the brand new 300 Magnum. I'm happy that I decided to do the whole timer in the top left this time around because it really goes to show how much time I've actually been spending on uh, grinding with this 300 Magnum. We have a total of 574 bear kills along with, I think, 250 to 300 moose kills so far. Well, actually, there was 188 of those bear kills that were already in this grind. So let me, I'll do the quick math whenever I'm editing this, but we've killed a lot of bears with this 300 AR. And it's great that we actually got a great one to spawn. I was afraid that we were going to go 24 hours without getting any notable trophies aside from maybe a couple rares and a few uh, big diamonds, but we managed to get a great one bear. It's unfortunate. It's a duplicate. It's unfortunate that it's a uh, once again a fabled spotted, but I don't really care because a great one's a great one at the end of the day. And even a duplicate is an awesome thing to see. I mean, I'm quite happy with it. Now let's go ahead and get lined up on this beautiful great one bear right here. Normally I try to get close and get some footage of it or get some photos, but we already got some incredible photos of it trying to attack us. So without further ado, Let's just take this beauty down, provided he stops moving. I don't want to take a moving shot. Man, I don't like this angle right here. I mean, it should be completely fine, but I think honestly, I'm going to back up a little bit. Oh, wow. He went alert so fast. Oh, this is not good for us. Or maybe it is. It was okay. We got him. Oh my gosh. He stood up and he stayed up long enough that I figured it's probably okay to take a shot. Because the thing with the great one bears, or not great one bears, but black bear in general, is sometimes when they stand up, they only stand up for like maybe a second or two at the most. But then other times that they stand up, it's for like five or six seconds. And so because he stayed up longer than two seconds, I figured we had a couple seconds left to take the shot. And so we took it and it ended up working out. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Man, it's moments like these that make me never get tired of chasing after great ones. Like, just when you think that you've seen everything, just when you think that you've had your greatest moment hunting a great one, there's always something in the future that's going to top it. This was a crazy moment. Having him go aggressive, uh, spotting him and not immediately realizing it was a great one until I looked at the 10 fabled on the spotting information, and then being able to take it out with a quick risky shot like this. These are the moments that make me continue to come back for great ones. This is just such a rush no matter how many times you do it. Let's go ahead and take a picture of this guy right here. Wow. 
That's beautiful. It's a 2777 Fabled Spotted Bear. That is crazy. That's close to max score. Max score is 28. So 2777 is actually pretty big. That's a beautiful Great One Bear. And I believe that this is my seventh Great One Bear of all time, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely a beauty. And like I said, if I'm going to get a duplicate, I'd prefer it be something like the Spotted or the Fabled Chestnut. So I'm not too mad that we already have one of these because this is a beautiful bear. This is just absolutely gorgeous. You know, we got ourselves a great one, but uh, we're not done. We still got a lot of time left on this challenge right here. So I think what I'm going to do next is spend the rest of these 24 hours hunting for Bantang because a lot of you have really wanted me to get back to that Bantang grind and try to get at least one rare to spawn as we've killed close to a thousand Bantang, actually maybe more than a thousand at this point and never got a single rare fur type. So I think that is the next move. I think we're gonna go hunt some Bantang for the next like 11 or 10 and a half hours of this challenge. You know, since we've seen a million different diamond Bantang, I think I'll probably not show much of the footage from this segment of our 24 hours of grinding because I mean once you've seen one diamond Bantang you've seen them all and we've had quite a few of them on the channel in the past so I'm not going to worry too much about uh putting a bunch of diamonds in this video of these Bantang. Of course if we get a rare or any type of notable moment it'll go in here but I think for the most part I'm just going to blaze through the remaining hours and finally get to the review and give you guys my full opinion on the 300 AR because this video is getting really really long at this point and I don't want to make it any longer. I mean, did we really expect anything less from the 300 AR against a Bantang? I mean, it's like the 300 Magnum, but you can fire it faster. It's great for them. It's great for them. Need I say more? So that's about to hit 24 hours on the timer right here. This is my thoughts on the 300 AR. This is by far going to be the best class 7 and 9 rifle in the entire game. And I think a lot of you probably already expected this. This thing is an absolute monster. It's just as powerful as the other 300, has the same zeroing distances, the same effective range, all that good stuff, but you can just fire it a lot faster, and that is going to make it so much better than any of the other Class 7 and 9 rifles that are currently in the game. Sure, you lose a little bit of power in comparison to the 338 bolt action, but, I mean, it's, in my opinion, a good trade-off with fire rates like this and such a low amount of recoil just it, there's no match it's insane as we talk about things i do want to show some of the footage from our grinds that i did while uh trying to get 24 hours of play in with this rifle because there was a lot of different moments where if i didn't have this rifle i would not have been able to make the shots that i did there was quite a few situations with moose where if i was using one of the old bolt action rifles that cover the moose class it would have been a lot more difficult to get the amount of shots off that I did and to be able to take them down so quickly because one of the struggles of hunting moose with the 300 bolt action is that a lot of times the shots are so slow and you only have four of them to the point where by the time you've fired all of them off, the moose is either super far away or it's just taken cover before you can even get all your shots off. Now the thing about it obviously is I am speaking from the perspective of somebody that grinds a lot. I am primarily a grinder, so this gun right here, if you're a grinder, it is like a necessity for your grinds. This is going to be an incredible rifle to be able to just kill animals super quickly and have plenty of follow-up shots at the ready to just uh, take on any poorly hit animals as well. Is this gun going to be useful for casual players though? Yes, it's definitely gonna be useful for someone who is a more casual player that maybe doesn't do any grinds, but still wants a very effective and good looking rifle because it is a great rifle overall. It can be used for any situation. The only situation where I would say this isn't necessarily going to be useful is if you're the type of player that doesn't really shoot multiple animals out of one zone and typically just takes one very well placed shot on the biggest animal in the group, then this rifle might not be that big of a game changer for you. But if you like taking up if you like taking follow up shots on multiple animals in the same herd, this rifle is going to make that a lot more possible while not sacrificing any power at all. 
So in conclusion, yes, this is likely the best class 7 plus rifle in the game. The best class 7 to 9 when you combine the amount of power the 300 Magnum has with the fast fire rate and the super low recoil as well. Given I do have the tier 3 recoil management perk here in the shotgun category, which does reduce a lot of shotgun for or a lot of uh, recoil for all weapons. It still is an insane rifle, even without those. In fact, let's let's just real quickly remove all of my shotgun perks. Now let's see how it is without them. I mean, that's still pretty good. I was able to correct that decently fast. So keep in mind that I do use the tier three recoil management perks in a uh, in this entire video so obviously if you want to get the most out of it you got to do that as well but as we just saw even without that it is still a very very effective rifle and it does very very good well everybody considering that this was a video that took 24 hours to make i really don't know how long it's going to end up being all I can say for sure is it's probably going to be at the minimum a 25 minute video. There's a lot of footage to go over the, to really showcase just how awesome this rifle is and to showcase all the really cool trophies we got while going for the 24 hours using the 300 Magnum. I mean, this guy right here is definitely the best thing we killed with it being a great one black bear. And it was nice to be able to see a great one bear in the daytime for once. The changes with the black bear have to be my favorite thing in this entire update, even above the 300 Magnum. Aside from the fact that they did not do a pop reset on the bears, which they probably should have because it is going to confuse a lot of new players. Like, aside from the whole issues with that, I, I really like this change of the bears drinking in the daytime. And I really like this 300 Magnum. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that sub button as well as leaving a like and comment down below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.